Okay, so yesterday I saw OpenAI have added a GPT image 1 model to the API. So this is of course the image model that is in ChatGPT that created this viral Studio Ghibli trend. So I thought it would be cool to try it out today, see how we can set up the, uh, the API and the code. And I also built a very, pretty cool app that uh, I'm going to show you now. Uh, so you can see and it's quite expensive but uh, I did a few runs on it and it wasn't that bad. Because you can save it's 5 in 40 out. Uh, of course, uh, there's less, uh, you can select kind of the quality you want, and this will affect the token count. So you can kind of decide yourself how much you want to pay. So it's not that bad. Of course, this is text in. Uh, we both have image in and out. That's pretty cool. And we have image edit, image generation, and we have in painting. That is kind of one of the first app I wanted to try to create. Uh, so I went ahead and did that. Uh, I'm just going to show you how this works now. So uh, yeah, we're gonna, not going to use the OpenAI image. We're going to try that too. But let's open the app here now. So we state our image that we have here. Okay, so let's run this. So this is kind of based on the in-painting principle because we didn't have that in ChatGPT. But it's super easy to create here now. So let's say we select our brush size and we have this uh, nice girl here. So let's... I don't like her necklace. Let's remove that. Uh, okay, let's remove the text here. Uh, I think she needs a tattoo here. So let's try to add that on her arm. Okay, let's just in-paint some stuff here. Uh, and let's do a prompt up here because we, now we can do a prompt. So we can do the prompt, uh, remove the necklace, add a tattoo of a tiger on her arm. Uh, great natural, remove the text on the microphone. So what we're going to do now is save this mask. Okay, that was saved. Now we can just apply edit and yeah, that should be it. So I also added some image here that we can see the original image and we can actually see the image we generated. So just give it some time here. I think it says like this take a minute or two. Uh, in my experience, it's been very fast. So let's see now. I'm going to take you back when we have the response here. Okay, so you can see this looks pretty good, right? Uh, if we zoom in on her, you can see we pretty much have the exact same person. Uh, we have a nice tattoo. That looks pretty good, right? It's a tiger. Looks kind of natural, gray. Uh, we removed the uh, text. Perfect. And the necklace. Yeah, that was pretty flawless. So you can kind of see she did change her kind of skin tone a bit. Uh, I guess we didn't say anything about that. Uh, but uh, yeah, I guess that's fine. Uh, so now we could, uh, of course, if we wanted to change this, we can just uh, clear this canvas, we can start over again. Uh, but I want to try a different image, so let's try the OpenAI logo to see if we can change up that. Okay, so here we kind of have the logo, so what I wanted to try was to see if we can do... Let's say we remove this, right? <laughs> this part. So let's see if we can change the name here. Uh, I wanted to try... And the text closed AI, keep the background as it is, right? So let's save this mask and we can apply edit. And I wanted to see if we kind of keep the same font as we did here. So it should kind of be the open AI font, but uh, let's see. Okay, this is good, right? You can see this is the original, this is the new one. We kind of have the exactly the same font, so it's very good at that. And I kind of say the spacing here looks pretty good. I guess we got a transparent background. But closed AI, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. So yeah, I'm really happy with this app. I just created this in like a couple of minutes. Uh, pretty simple to set up this in painting. I don't know really why um, OpenAI don't have this because it's very powerful. Uh, but yeah, that is kind of the app. Maybe we'll give it a shot afterwards. I will probably share the code to this if you want to try it out yourself. Uh, but let's head back to the um, to the model and how we can kind of do our request in the API because it's a bit different than what we have done before, right? Okay, so if you look in the documentation here uh, on image generation, you can see they are referring to the GPT image one model. Okay, uh, so we're gonna do Python today, uh, but I wanted to set you up with a simple example. So this is kind of all we need. So it's 20 lines of code. We're only gonna feed in a simple text prompt. We're gonna feed this into the client image generate. We're gonna set the model to GPT image one, and we can set uh, what we wanna save this file to. So if you just copy this, we had to cursor paste it in. So let's say we wanted to create, um, I don't know, 
Okay, so let's just do an image that is on someone's computer or an image that someone is embarrassed to show off. Let's call it EMG 01356. I don't know. And uh, let's do the prompt here. So I'm just gonna come up with something. Okay, so let's try an image that is embarrassing to show. Photo realistic, okay? So I just wanted like a, a random image. So let's see what we get back here. So we're gonna save this as image 1356.png. Uh, yeah, I have no idea what we will get here, but the idea was just to show in 19 lines of code, we can generate an image with the GPT image one. So it's pretty simple and that kind of give us uh, a lot of leeway to work with if we wanna build an app like I did this morning. Ah, oh, we ran into some safety restrictions. Hmm. Okay, so let's try again. Let's do something a bit different. Let's do an image of my room that is embarrassing to show. Let's see if we can do that. Yeah, I was kind of expecting that it's gonna be quite uh, strict on what you can create because now it's in the API, right? They have to set this up, I guess. Uh, and there's one more thing that is pretty a big bummer about this uh, that I will show you at the end of the video. Okay, so we have the image, let's see it. <laughs> okay, that's a messy room, right? <laughs> wow. Uh, okay, that was pretty good. Uh, let's run one more other test that could be embarrassing to show off. Let's try off my morning routine. I have no idea what this is gonna produce. Okay, so let's check it out. Embarrassing for my morning routine. What's so bad about that? You're brushing your teeth. <laughs> uh, but this works, okay. So if you go back to the OpenAI, you can see we can also combine images. I kind of wanted to try that. And again, it's just uh, almost 30 lines of code. So let me set this up. Uh, let's find, we can do four images, something like that. And let's see if we can combine everything together. And uh, yeah, let's, let's see what happens. So I'm just gonna copy this, multi-image, uh, okay. Gift basket, I'm just gonna call it multi-image.png and uh, let me find some more images here we can actually combine together and we can use the prompt here to do that okay so i found the images so we're gonna do the girl we're gonna do the messy room uh, here's an image of uh, charlie he's a streamer and we're gonna do the open ai logo and the prompt is gonna be uh, a photo of a woman streaming in her messy room with her friend. There's a poster of the AI company OpenAI on the wall. So I haven't tried this, so let's see what happens. If not, let, let's do some adjustments here. So what was it? Python multi-image.py. Uh, I have no idea what's gonna happen here, but let's give it a shot and see if everything comes in combined. If it does, I'm gonna be quite surprised to be honest. Okay, so let's see now, multi-image. Wow, look at that, that's so good, right? Uh, let's open this image, can we? Yes, look at this, we got her here streaming, we got the messy room, they're kind of overlaid, we have the poster, open AI in the background. This is insane, right? And I guess Charlie wasn't pretty good, but I guess, I don't know, they kind of changed up with face. But I can't really complain about this. Look how good this is. And she kind of copied the, the move he is doing here. I don't know why, but this is so cool, right? <laughs> this has to be the best image model that has been created when it comes to kind of this uh, flexibility of what you can do. Uh, I don't think I'm ever going to go back to using uh, Mid Journey or something if they don't get these features. So yeah, uh, so that is kind of multi-image. That were kind of flawless. We might do one more because this was very fun, right? So if you look on the next step here, this is in painting. Uh, to me, this was a bit more complicated. I had to get some help from Claude 3.7 to actually set this up uh, because I haven't really tried to use this. I think we used pillow and something else to actually create a mask on top of the image. So when we save the masked image, I can show you how it looks like. So if you go back here and you can see, this is the mask we created for the girl. Here was the arm, here was the necklace and the microphone. And for OpenAI, we just removed this. So this is what we are creating to actually uh, overlay on top of the image to actually generate this uh, effect here. So we can do the input, remove, add or uh, do the output. So I might actually share this uh, code, uh, like I said, in uh, the link below. I will see if I can upload it today, maybe I do it tomorrow. Uh, if you wanna do this masking yourself, 
but it's pretty fun to to uh, to play around with. Uh, I want to do one more combined, then I'm going to tell you about what is kind of a bit more annoying about this. And yeah, that is probably going to be it. Okay, so I have this image, right? So I want to try to replace the car here with this uh, Lamborghini or something. So let's see how that turns out. So I'm just going to run this again. And let's see if we can combine those two images and kind of remove this, um, change out this car here with the Lamborghini. So the prompt I did was just uh, a Lamborghini jumping on the road. I might try to change that up if it doesn't work, but let's see now. Okay, that was done. Lambos. All right, this looks cool, right? Um, it is kind of a drawing. Maybe I should have added photorealistic, but other than that, looks pretty good. So this was the original, uh, and we got this. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, yeah, this is very cool. I'm really looking forward to kind of building something integrated using this GPT image one model uh, I have a lot of other ideas that I think be, can be pretty cool So we're gonna definitely try to combine this using some video models and stuff in the future uh, But there's one thing that was uh, a bit rough with this model is that it needs verification so you need to verify your account uh, to actually get access to the GPT image model so why do I need, uh, what do I need to do? Uh, you need an ID and yeah, not a reason to verify other organizations. I just follow the instructions. I gave them my ID and then I could use it. It only took 30 minutes, I think. Uh, but that's a bit of a bummer if you don't want to verify. I understand that. Uh, but I want to use this, so I just had to do it. And of course, we created this pretty cool app, so I think it was worth it and I'm definitely gonna play around with it more. So let's just check at the end here how much I've spent today playing around with GPT Image 1. Okay, so I spent $2, uh, almost $3 today. I've created probably around, yeah, I don't know, 20, 30 images. So I wouldn't say it's that bad, uh, but uh, I need to play a around a bit more with it to kind of know exactly. Uh, but yeah, that was kind of my introduction to the image generation using the new model. So I had a lot of fun with this. I'm definitely going to try to work more on it. Uh, so hope you enjoyed it. Hope this gave you some inspiration to start building your own apps using this. Uh, and yeah, thank you for tuning in. I'll probably do a video again tomorrow uh, morning. So I'll probably see you then.